lifted, some new wheels and tires. Something that I've always wanted since I purchased the truck and finally I decided I'm going to go ahead and spend the pennies and, and have it done. Uh, I want to go ahead and go through what I decided to go with and then the reasonings behind uh, why I'm going about it the way I'm going about it. Uh, the first thing is I went with the four and a half inch BDS. I chose that kit because everybody seems to love the ride of that kit. I definitely wanted to keep as much of the factory ride as possible, if not improve it, which everybody seems to improve and or say it is the same with that kit. The second reason I went with that kit is there are no torsion bars hanging down, so it's a non-torsion bar drop kit, which gives her a much, much cleaner install. So I think it's the perfect amount of height. I think that's kind of how these trucks ought to come from the factory as far as height. I understand why they do give so much brake to them. They are a tow vehicle. That's what 90% of people buy them for, but you've got to have a lot of weight in the back of one of these trucks to get that thing to really level out, in my opinion. Um, so the next thing is I went with a set of uh, 20 by 9 XD Misfits. They're going to be a zero offset and I'm going to go with the new Nitto Ridge Grapplers in a 35 1150 20. Went with the 1150 because and the zero offset. I really don't want to have to trim. If you guys are watching some of the previous videos, you can see that I trimmed the lower balance on the truck. I didn't want to have to really get into doing any sort of NorCal mod or anything like that on the truck, if at all possible. I don't mind doing it, but if I can do it or I don't have to, then that's even better in my opinion. So, Hopefully, with that combination not being super wide and we have the zero offset, we should be right on the money. Uh, I really don't think anybody's going to be able to tell unless they look at the tire size that it's 11 and a half wide versus 12 and a half wide. Uh, that's the only difference between the, the two tires that Nitto is now offering. And that it makes sense why they're offering a uh, narrower tire. We won't have to get into cutting because some of these guys can run a, a, a much wider offset and may not have to cut as much. A, not as much of a wide tire. Um, so that's that. Um, the next thing is why I am paying to have it installed versus me installing it myself. I do have access to a two post lift anytime I want. It's a family member. It's not, it's less than a mile from my house. I can go over there and put my truck up on the lift. I don't drive the truck every day. So I could go over there and do that. Realistically, what, it, what would it take me to put that kit on? Probably two or three days by myself working without any help on the lift that I'm going to burn up. So I'm either going to burn up one full day of work in a whole entire weekend, and then I still have to go and pay to have it aligned. So the way I look at it is for the $700 or whatever it was that it cost me to have the kit installed, I can make $700 in a day. And, and make it back. So I'd rather work an extra day on the week, one day on the weekend versus three days to put the kid in salt and save myself some money. Like that's my logic behind it. Pretty much just about anything. If I can, can I work a full day's of work worth of work and make the money versus what, it, how much physical time it's going to take me to do the job. So that's kind of my reasoning behind that. So. We're on the way there. The shop opens at nine, so we'll be able to drop it off. The guy told me when he made the appointment that they should be able to get it done in the day. So hopefully, come this afternoon, around five o'clock, six o'clock this evening, she ought to be uh, all lifted up and uh, and looking good with the new wheels and tires on it. So I'll get back with you guys after we uh, pick the truck back up. So hopefully, it'll be done this afternoon. I'm super excited. So. Uh, can't wait for you guys to see what it's going to look like. It should be uh, a pretty big change from how it looks right now. I know a lot of the parts on the truck are color matched and things like that, so it does look a little different from a stock truck, but definitely think it's going to give it a, a really good aggressive stance and uh, how it should have come from GM. So stay tuned, guys. We're back. I know when I filmed the first part of this video, it was Monday. We were on the way to go drop the truck off, and install took a little bit longer than they anticipated so it ended up taking two days so now it's Wednesday I got the truck back last night um, as you can see it is substantially higher than it was um, 
I think the stance is absolutely perfect. And again, we went with the four and a half inch BDS and some 35 and 11 50s on a 20 by nine with a plus one offset. So we'll give you guys a walk around in the truck, try to give you a, a, the best view I can of kind of how the stance of the truck is, answer anybody's questions, show you the CV angles, and as you can see how high it is, I'll stand next to the mirror just to kind of give anybody some sort of reference. I am 6'1", so it's right about at my shoulder for the mirror. I don't think the truck's too hard to get in and out of as it sits with the running boards, so we'll go ahead and give you guys a walk around and get you some, some different angles of the truck to show you the proportions of the tires to the height of the lift and, like I said, CV angles and some different views of some of the parts that were installed and hopefully answer any questions that you guys have and we'll get you some fender height measurements so if anybody's concerned about getting in and out of a garage door or anything like that, we'll, we'll go ahead and cover that. Hey guys. We're on the back of the truck here to get you a fender measurement. I do not remember what the fender height was originally. I do remember that the front of my truck was three and a half inches lower in the front than it was in the back. So right now we're at about 48 and a half. And this is the BDS with the three inch block in the rear and not the two. So we'll go ahead and move up to the front of the truck and take a measurement up there and see how close it is to the level. We're not sitting quite on level concrete, but it ought to give us a, a pretty good idea. Hey guys, this is the front of the truck, and the front is on this side about 45 and a quarter, give or take. So, well, 45 and a quarter. It's still got about two, two and a half inches of rake front to back on this one side. I think the other side on the front, it sits a little bit higher. It's about as close as they could get it side to side level wise. Um, so that gives you an idea. We'll back up here and give you another view of this side of the truck. So you can see that it does have, as you guys can see, it does have a little bit of a rake, which doesn't bother me. It looks pretty level to me. It's nowhere near what it was factory. So I like it. Just give you an idea of the stance of the truck. Alright guys, this is the, the back view to show you kind of the offset of the of the wheel. Just by looking at it, I would say that it's probably close to about an inch maybe outside of the wheel well, so let's kind of give it a straight edge there. So maybe out to the edge of the lug, maybe inch and a half, two inches sticking out, as you guys can see from the other angle. That is just enough to throw mud all over the truck, and all I have done is drive up and down my gravel driveway and another gravel driveway about four or five times so far and to show you there's only a couple mud mud puddles shows you it does still throw a pretty good amount of dirt on the truck on the front and the back so gives you an idea we'll go ahead and get you guys a measurement to bar if anybody's concerned about that to get right to the step is just under 24 inches so about two foot to get up to that part of it and we'll go ahead and give you guys a measurement here to the top of the mirror about 70 inches to the mirror to the top right here I do have a eight foot garage door and I clear 100% no issue even the antenna gets in the in the garage door i clear that by about four or five inches so hey guys i don't know if we can see this or not I might have to film this again but there's the cv angles they are i think flatter than they were factory so like i said before the truck rides like an absolute dream with this kit i don't know if you guys can see or not there's the new skid plates new cross arms the new knuckle all of that that's been changed out with the kit everything is substantially heavier duty than it was factory so it definitely is going to hold up over time here's a view from the front down low guys just to kind of give you an idea of maybe a little bit how much ground clearance it has gained and kind of the, the stance from the front of the truck uh, i do have the wheel turn and i'm sure with the gopro lens that looking down the side of something straight with this fisheye lens is not really doing it justice but it gives you an idea so go ahead and walk and try not to 
shake the camera too bad and just give you guys some more angles. I think the lift to tire size proportion is just absolutely perfect in my opinion. I think that if you have to get into cutting too much of that front bumper or anything like that, you're, in my in my opinion, the offset's too too much or the tires are too big for what you're what you're trying to do. So, and just for reference, I don't know if you guys can see there's my garage door to kind of give you an idea of the top of the truck to to the garage door there. So, this is the uh, by far I think the biggest modification that's been done to it other than doing the deletes. So, there's plenty more things that I want to do to this build guys so please stick around like and subscribe share the video and if you guys want to check out the Instagram page it's got just some of my life stuff and and a lot of truck stuff I try to keep that updated as much as I can so if you guys have any comments any concerns any questions that I can answer anything that I can show you guys that you won't need uh, answered feel free to leave a comment below and or just contact me on Instagram and I'll be happy to, to help as best I can.